Hello and welcome. So today's topic is about installing Visual Studio Code, where you will be writing your SQL queries. And I'm your instructor, Divya Thakur. First, let's understand what is a text editor. A text editor is a program that allows you to open, view and edit plain text files. So you can see a text editor provides an empty display screen with a fixed line length and visible line numbers. You can then fill the lines in text with your code line by line. So for example, Notepad is a very basic text editor with minimal features and very low capabilities. Other examples are Notepad++, Atom Editor and so on. So as you can see, you can write text in your notepad and save it in a .txt file format and also you can change those file formats. Why are we using Visual Studio Code if we can introduce a SQL file in notepad only? That's because Visual Studio Code is lightweight but very powerful source code editor. And it runs on desktop. It's available for Windows, Mac OS and Linux. And it combines the simplicity of a source code editor with a powerful developer tooling like IntelliSense code completion. So it lets you complete the code. It will give you some options that this is how you want to write your code. You can just click on tab and that will complete your code. And it's also a very powerful IDE for debugging. So those features are not provided in Notepad. So let's move on to installing Visual Studio Code on our respective laptops and PCs. So Visual Studio Code can be downloaded using the official link. I'll take you to that in just a while. And it will look something like this. So depending on the OS, uh, Visual Studio Code can be downloaded on your computer. So my system version is a 64-bit. If you have a 32-bit, go for that. So let's move on to Google Chrome. Let's see how to install VS Code. So for that, just go to your browser and type in Visual Studio Code. And this is the first result we are getting. Just click on that. Now click on this down download button. And since there is only one installer for Windows 64-bit, 32-bit and all these OS, so just click on that. And now it will be downloading over here. So now the downloading is complete. So let's proceed to installation. So just click on the CXE file. And you'll get a window like this. Click on I accept the agreement. Click on next. And this path is okay for me. I want this visual code on my C drive. But if you guys want it on any other drive, feel free to browse and choose other drive for you. So just click on next. And I want a desktop icon also. So I'm right clicking this. And then click on install. If your internet connection is good, it will just take two minutes to get this installed on your system. So be sure that you have clicked this and click on finish. Now this launches on our system. So this is our Visual Studio Code. So as you can see, this has these tabs, Explorer, Search, Source Control, Run and Debug, Extensions, Remote Explorer. Now let's move on to the next slide, which is installing this extension, which is the SQLite extension over here. So how to install this extension? So just open your Visual Studio Code, which you just installed and then download search for it and then download so this is how this extension uh, panel will look like you just have to click on here and then type in sqlite 
and install this first result. So let's do this. So now let's click on extensions and download our SQL Lite extension. So for that, just search SQLite. Make sure you spell it correctly. And this is the first result we are getting. Just click on install. And it will take some time. So this is done. Now go back to your explorer and we'll have to download a database. So I'm just minimizing this and we have provided a link to you. So just copy and paste it on your browser and a screen like this will pop up. So just click on chinook.db over here. This is the database we'll be working with. So click on download over here and it will get downloaded to your system. Now show in folder. So right click, cut this, go to your desktop or any other folder where you would like to paste it. So I'm creating a folder over here named database and pasting this over here. Okay. Next, in my Visual Studio Code, I'll be opening this folder, which is database. So I'll go to my desktop and select this database and click on select folder. Wait for a while. So now, as you can see, this has been downloaded. So now, now click Control, Shift and P. And it will open up this for you. So click on open database. This is the Chinook database. You can see uh, you have an SQL Lite Explorer over here. So I'm just gonna go over here and untick this. And also increase so that you can see. So these are the tables in our database, which are albums, artists, customers, employees, journals, and voice items, invoices, media types, playlist track, playlists, and tracks. So you can open each table and see what are the columns in this. So I'll just select this table, click on this arrow over here, and this is show table. This is the whole table over here divided into chunks okay and now go over this table again and right click and do a new query select just click on this and it will select all this columns and this is the table name from the table name is artist and these are the column names this query does what it simply says that show all the data in the table artists about which we'll study in the upcoming classes. So just right click anywhere over here and click on run query. Uh, let me close this. I'll do a right click and run query. And you can see this query has run and it's showing all the results in our table. You can uh, go ahead and do the same with, okay, this is quite a large one. So I'm going to try with invoice items. This is a small table. So I'll just do right click, new query, and then right click again and run this query. And all of the information in this table has been selected over here. The best part is you can export this in a CSV format, your query results, and also in HTML format, and also in JSON format. So what to do with this exporting of our query results, we'll discuss about this in the upcoming classes. So this is all. Thank you for watching.